Welcome back to Let's Play Doraemon! Giga Zombies Revenge. On our last episode, we just arrived here in Star Town and we have ourselves the stone tablet. Now, what are we doing? Now, what we need to do is we need to search for a few more items. Here, I believe this is a store. There's an item that allows you to talk to cats. Okay, so that's not a store, but... Rest assured, there is a store here. And here it is. Here's the store. Now, you can buy a cure potion, a, de a detox potion, which is mainly an antidote. A wake potion, which is, well... That which wakes you up from sleep and a heal potion. Mainly to give you um, more health or probably fix your or probably fix your status. We're not going to do that yet though. Actually, if we go up here... We find a leather helmet. And... A knife. Now, actually, what I've read up upon... That is, basically, the knife is a bit stronger. So what I'm going to do is do the following. I'm going to give this to Doraemon. And I'm going to take out the pouch. The knife. No, the knife. I want the knife. No, I'm not. Give me the knife. Thank you. And equip said knife. And this way we give Dormon the hammer since he has nothing. We can fix that. I'm going to give you the fishing cap. And what else I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the I'm going to take out the stone tablet. Now the reason why we're going to need the stone tablet is we're going back into Dr. Moon's manor. So what we do is we use the stone tablet. I 
Mewko! 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 I'm hiding from the evil king. He has my father. I must find him. We'll need the arrow. Let's go and find it then, Mewko. I'll join your group. And with that, we have Miyoko joining us, and she is a mage. So what we need to do now is have our party member. What now, Donnymon? Let's search for the arrow! We'll need to get the silver first! Indeed. Now there is someone in this town that can tell us where to find the silver. I believe you're the one who can tell us about the silver. Head east to Port Town. You should find silver there. Thank you! So now that we have done so, we are going to leave town. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to save. Yeah, save the game. Thank you. Yes, thank you. So we're going to go east to Port Town, and we're going to run into some more enemies, like a claw and a grin, short for gremlin. And this is what happens. Which is a good thing. You know, we can just always come back because there's no problem here. In Doramon, there is no game over. You just start all the way back from the last town you were. So, if we ever we need to heal, we can't save here. We can't really. Yeah, the downside is we can't heal outside the village. I 
goddamn time. <sighs> the search for silver. The reason why I'm doing this is to be sure. So, I finally gained a level. Stats go up and that's a good thing. So this is the next area. So we have a gremlin and an evil worm. And Dormon gains level. And so does Miyoko. So this happens to be Port Town. So we're going to heal here. And of course. We get 73 gold just because. Now we're being told that we need to find silver in this town. There's a dog with a collar but no owner. Damn strays. My uncle lives in Craftsman Town. He's the blacksmith. Fight Giga Zombie? Uh, yeah, otherwise it wouldn't be much of a let's play now, wouldn't it? Very bad decision. Screw you, game! I'm only level two. I just only got here. Head north and you'll reach another town. Best advice I heard all day. I saw someone hiding a chuck of silver, but I don't remember where it is. Go. What a cute cat. Thanks, lady, although he's not mine. Mine is more black brownish. So, nothing going on here. You must be that dog. Giga Slave took our silver. And you don't know where they took it. Wonderful. Well, might as well just buy up some cures. Because why not? Does anybody have any useful information? Any information at all will be very helpful to this quest.
I don't own any silver. I have only a gold ring. Nobody's giving us inform any information. So you know what that means, folks? We gotta leave this place. I'm pretty sure I probably need to do something of an, a major importance, but... Clap along! Clap along! Clap along. Ah, uh, this game is just like playing Chronicle of the Dark Lord. Except you're not being hit as hard. That evil worm that doesn't even look like an evil worm. We do get some good experience around here. I say by the time we actually reach the next um, town, we'd be pretty damn powerful. So easy to get a level up here. So we're already at level three. And we gotta have a bat. You know why? Because bats are a real waste of time. Get rid of that bat. Thank you. Okay, north we go to the next town. And this is Craftsman Village. Let's see what kind of information we can get. Sure to find the arrow. Use it to defeat demons. Durr. Okay. It's dangerous outside. Here, use this. You must be brave to face the demon king. Why, yes, I have faced Nobunaga Oda plenty enough times. And every time. I made him squeal like a bitch. I saw a dog with something shiny in his mouth. Uh huh. Why am I searching? I'm not searching. I must be. This town was built only. This town was built with only magic. Let's see what's in this area. Ooh. A slingshot. Very nice. And a lamp. Very 
Very nice, very nice items. I approve. Do you have any info for us? I work with Silver, but not at the moment. My dog is in Port Town, I'm worried. Will you see if he's alright? Sure. If you can find him, give him this bone! Why is he in Port Town? My wife hates him and he won't let me keep him. Be a man, damn it! Shit. So I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here and save here. And in the next part, I will definitely see you back at Port Town when Let's Play Doraemon Giga Zombies Revenge returns right after this.